Some people view Halloween as a time for dressing up and having fun parties with their friends. The younger of us see it as a time for trick-or-treating and hoarding as much candy as possible. Others see Halloween as the ultimate house decoration competition. Whichever way you see it, most of us love it. But why do people love this crazy holiday and where did it come from? Let's explore the origins of Halloween. Halloween is easily one of the most fun and exciting holidays each year. I mean, what's not to love about dressing up and binge eating candy? It's no wonder that Halloween is one of the most popular holidays. Millions of people celebrate the holiday, but few actually know the origins of Halloween. To understand where this spooky holiday came from, let's rewind the clocks by a few thousand years to 1200 BC. We find ourselves with the Celts, or the Celtic people of Ireland. The original Celtic people were various groups of tribes who originated from Central Europe. Celtic culture remains most prominent today in Ireland and Great Britain, where their language and cultures are still well known. Uh -oh. Looks like I've just run out of luck. Potatoes! The Celts celebrated their New Year's Eve on October 31st with an ancient festival called Samhain, which literally translates to summer's end. As the name states, the holiday marked the end of summer harvest and the beginning of winter. Back then, winters were not pleasant. They were brutal and cold. Since living conditions, technology, and healthcare was not as developed as it is today, the Celts associated this time of year with human death. Therefore, the Celts believed that on October 31st, there was a direct bridge between the living and the dead. Samhain wasn't just a festival to mark the new year. It was a celebration and remembrance of their lost relatives. They believed these relatives had returned to Earth on this day as ghosts. They would dress in dead animal skulls and hides while sacrificing crops and animals to giant sacred bonfires. These were built by the tribal druids. They believed that if they did not honor their spectral guests, there may be bad luck for future crops and future harvests. Oh, yes! I can see it now! Well? Oh, this does not look good! Fire! Flames! This does not bode well for your future! That's a candle. And you're insane. I'm out of here. Boom! Halloween fact number one. Did you know that many animal shelters won't allow for the adoption of black cats around Halloween time? This is because they fear ritualistic individuals may actually take them and sacrifice them. How crazy is that? The yearly celebration of Samhain continued in Europe and was eventually combined with All Saints Day, which was a similar Roman tradition. This combination of Celtic tradition with religious influence created what was called All Hallows, which would eventually become known as Halloween. Other than dressing up, playing tricks on individuals became tradition in the late 1800s. In North America, pranksters would actually ravage the cities by pushing over outhouses, harassing farmers, and egging or vandalizing homes. By the early 1900s, these celebrations began getting way out of hand. It wasn't just harmless pranks anymore. The nights of Halloween resembled a night of town destruction rather than just fun. Society took a stance against the extreme vandalism and pushed more friendly forms of celebrations. These ended up becoming fun games such as bobbing for apples, fortune telling, trick or treating, and carving jack-o-lanterns. Did you know? Jack-o-lanterns originated from an old Celtic tale about a man named Stingy Jack. Stingy Jack was a trickster, always out looking for trouble. He was out drinking with the devil one day when he told the devil to transform himself into a coin so they could pay for the drinks without paying any real money. The devil agreed and turned himself into a coin. Jack ended up putting the coin in his back pocket beside a silver cross. The cross kept the devil from transforming back to normal. Jack made a deal with the devil. He promised that he would allow the devil to transform back to his normal form as long as he didn't bother Jack and agreed to never claim his soul upon death. The devil agreed. When Jack eventually died, God decided that he was not pure enough for heaven, but the devil agreed to never claim his soul. He was left to roam the earth forever as a spirit, with only a coal-lit turnip as a lantern. 
Stingy Jack was then known as Jack of the Lantern, or Jack-o-Lantern. The folklore led to carving scary faces into turnips, beets, and eventually pumpkins. If you find yourself out by a campfire this Halloween, you can impress your friends by telling them about Stingy Jack, but please, don't sacrifice any black cats to the fire. <coughs> While most people today see Halloween as a time for fun celebrations, some highly religious individuals still express concern about the holiday. This is because they believe it is linked to satanic rituals. However, now that you know the origins of Halloween, you would know that the original Celtic celebration had nothing to do with worshipping the devil. It was actually a celebration and way to commemorate their past relatives. Alright guys, now you know the origins of Halloweens, you gotta tell me. What are you gonna dress up this Halloween? Leave it in the comments section below. The goal of Mind Mesh is to help educate the world on important and sometimes controversial topics. These videos take over 50 hours to research and edit. If you believe in my vision, please support Mind Mesh by liking the video and clicking that subscribe button below. You want a free prize? If you have an idea for a video, comment it below. If you're a subscriber and your topic is selected, you'll be contacted and sent a free surprise in the mail. Thanks guys, see you in two weeks.